Alright, hey guys, Legal Lockpicker here, and welcome to today's episode. As you can see, we have a really interesting looking lock in front of us today, and that's the one that we're going to pick. This was one of the uh, locks that I got from Bosnian Bill. Uh, he did let me do a partial raid of the lab, and I got so much cool stuff that it's going to be coming at you in waves, and that's why I'm really excited to get started on doing this stuff. So, let's take a look. Here it is. It looks like an X, and it's turned to the left a little bit. So that's what we are working with. I'll see if I can get it closer so you can get a better look. You can see the pins are... You know what, this is a great opportunity. For the hand. As you can see, there's pins on each side. Here. Here. And then here. Uh, from what I can tell, there's nothing on the top side there, which would make sense. So, as far as I can tell, nothing's there. However, on the key, if you look closely... Let me put that down. If you look closely, there's four, looks like, dimple cuts on each one. And then if you look at the key like this, you can see why it looks that way. So once you take that and what you do is you use this gold marker here as, as like the steady point where you have the little red dot here. You take that and then you push it in. And this lock is um, traditionally made for like a trunk or a latch of some sort. So that's what you would use this for. So it's got a lot of pins in it. It looks really cool. It functions great. So the only thing left to do is pick this bad boy open. So uh, let me put this in the vise and we'll get started. And I think, yeah, we'll get started. All right, now that we got the lock all queued up in the in the vise here let's see if we can't get this bad boy open so I'm going to use top of the keyway here and I'm going to be very careful about how I do this because like I said if you put too much tension after you pick it um, like after you turn it a full way it ends up getting stuck so we're only going to pick it and then have it turn just a little bit because we don't want to break this lock from Bosnian Bill. Alright, so let's give it a shot here. We're going to start with the uh, clockwise. Okay, we're getting a little bit of feedback here. Oh, there we go. We got a click. Okay, let's check the next spot. So these can be intimidating. Okay, there we go. Let's just go back and check it real quick. All right, there we go. Let's check up here now at the nine o'clock. All right, we just got a little bit here. Okay, let's start over. Now, there are no pins in the top row here, so we're going to have to keep going again. Getting a little more. Okay, let's get a little... Alright. 
trying to figure out which one I'm hung up on. There we go, we got it. See how we're gonna turn in here? Now if I push it any more over to the right, it's gonna get stuck and we don't wanna do that. All right, so that was a little bit of a doozy there. So, um, all right, what the hell, we'll just have to fix it with a plug spinner later. See how I get it turned, oh, all right. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. And uh, yeah, sometimes these locks can be a bit intimidating, but once you give it a shot and you know what you're uh, working against here, it's not that bad. So guys, thank you so much for watching this. Um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on the way out. And stay tuned on Monday for this month's uh, uh, giveaway stuff. It's got a whole lot of cool stuff going on this month. So I'll see you then, guys. Thanks. Enjoy.